Hey guys, it's Jordan. This is gonna be like my first get ready with me type of video, so I'm really pumped. I've already moisturized my lovely face, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get in. So as you can see, I'm literally on my last little bit of this. It's the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my face ready with this. And um, on my nose area, I have bigger pores, so I do like a double step type thing where I add another primer on top of that. That's kind of like pore minimizing. This does the job, but just not good enough for me. So now we're going to go in with a Clarins pore minimizing primer as well, just on my nose area because I have those bigger pores, like I said. All right, now we're ready for foundation. Lately, I've been using the Lancome Tonti Doll because I feel like it's helping balance my oils because throughout the day, my nose has lots of pores on it and they will open up and completely break down my makeup. I was using a drugstore makeup and so now I switched to the Tonti Doll with Lancome. I'm a 210 buff, just in case you're near my skin tone. I'm kind of like a cool neutral, so we're gonna go ahead and get that face on. So I just apply with a beauty blender, go in, and here we go. Now on my nose area, I like to switch to a different blender. It's a little smaller. And the only reason I do this is because I really want to allow my nose not to look too porous. So I have to be careful with what I'm doing. All right, so we got our whole base on and then I'm gonna go ahead and put on a concealer. Now, people probably think I use a really high-end concealer or something, and I don't. I literally love this. It's a Maybelline Master Conceal. So, yeah, this is shade 20 light. So, we're going to go in and get some concealer under those eyes so I don't look dead. We got that concealer on. We're already looking more flawless. <laughs> so, now what I do is I go ahead and start baking. Um, I'm new to the baking game and I don't have the best setting baking powder, but I'm gonna show you what I use. It's very cheap. It's literally like six to eight dollars at like Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. It's a old time classic, okay? I use the Cody Airspun Loose Powder and this is actually really great because I'm gonna do an eyeshadow look, so this will catch all your fallout, especially if you have a cheaper palette like me. <laughs> so yeah. What you do is you just get a little bit of powder in this part and then you take whatever you want to take, but I think a beauty blender is best. And you just kind of pack it onto your beauty blender. Now I'm about to look very dusty, but this helps your eyes last like all day, honey. And it catches that fallout so you can just get rid of the fallout and not have colors all over your face. <laughs> All right, now we're baking, baby. <clears throat> so you're gonna just let this set on your face for the rest of the time you're doing your makeup until no, towards like the end. So yeah, let's move on. This is the portion where I'm going to attempt a cute little eye look. But before that, we're gonna go ahead and chisel our face out with some contour. So let's get our contour stick. This stick is great. It's 180 Rich Ginger. Yeah, and it's a Instafix Revlon stick. This stick is really awesome um, for contouring, in my opinion, because it helps you add a good definition without looking orange or just off skin color. You just have to blend it pretty well, you know? I go in along my cheek line to give myself those good cheekbones. Do a little around the forehead just to make it look a little smaller. Down my nose, because who doesn't want a skinny nose? Cupid's bow always. Bottom lip, and then jawline. Boom! Now let's blend it. Alright, so now we just look a little more defined. Cute, right? Uh, 
So now we're gonna go ahead and go in with some eyeshadows and get these eyes popping. So here we go, we're gonna go in with this Milani eyeshadow primer on our eyes. I use a beauty blender just to kind of get it blended out. Cause if you don't, your eyeshadow is gonna look kind of streaky and weird. So today I'm going for like a peachy, goddessy type look. Some type of fantasy. Let's see what we end up with. So, first I'm going to take this little Wet n Wild Art in the Streets palette that I have. And as you can see, my purple on it is broken. But I'm going to take the yellow in this. And it's very like pop art color, so I love that. But we're going to go ahead and take this yellow and we're going to put it right in our crease. Just to add some little start to our peach. Alright, so now I'm going to go in, and this is actually Uniform Blood Eyeshadow Palette, Black Heart. It's from um, Hot Topic. So, they have one in here called Pixie Pink. It's a little like a fuchsia pink, and we're going to go in with that right after that yellow. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the orange that was in our Art in the Streets Wet n Wild palette and I'm going to kind of blend that up into the crease where I have the pink on the lid and then the yellow and the crease, the corner and then like the crease of my eye. I'm going to do that. So here we go. So now that we've gotten that orange on the crease, we're gonna go ahead and take that pixie pink and go back in and pat that on the lid some more just to kind of add that color back in because it has a little bit of a fade just due to the harshness of that orange. So we really want that peachy, pinky transition that we're going for here. And now we're gonna take a little bit more of that yellow and go back in on the corner of our eye just so we can really get these colors blending. All right, now we're gonna go in this little orangey, peachy area that we have. We're actually gonna add like one of these pastel colors that I have, and this is actually a part of the Pastel Dreams from Hot Topic as well. <laughs> And there's one in here called Cutie Pie that's a little bit of a purple. We're gonna put that in our crease as well. Not so harsh like the orange. However, we're gonna still throw it in there just to add a good old transition from pink to the orange. And we wanna have like a daydreamy type peachy color. Tones it down for sure. All right, and then here towards the end, there's actually a white in this Pastel Dreams as well. It's called Hide and Seek. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a bunch of that on right here at the end. It's gonna be kind of a ending of this beautiful little color journey. So I'm gonna be using the Aurora Anastasia Glow Palette for my highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little lightness right in the inner where we put that yellow. And um, I'm gonna probably use Eclipse just because I wanna go with a bright light type of highlighter today. And that's more yellow than the Lyra because that's more orange, so. And then we're gonna take that Luna in this palette and put that on our highlight bone. Now we're gonna go ahead and dust off our baking. Cause we really didn't get any fallout on there, but the little that we did, we're gonna go ahead and dust off. Okay, so now since we're going for a cute little glowy peachy look, I'm gonna go on with this Josie Martin and it's an Argan Brightening Illuminizer. And I actually haven't used this yet because my friend's mother, she's a saint and she gave me this. So I'm going to put some of this on my cheek area so that we can really get that glow from the highlighter. All right, so we got that base on. You can see it kind of glowing in this light already, but we're gonna actually go over top of this with the Anastasia palette once more. 
This time I think I'm going to maybe stack Eclipse and Luna because Luna is really orange and I love that. But I want Eclipse on my face as well to kind of tie in with that inner corner. So we're going to blend that out a little because it was a little bit too much. <laughs> I'm going to take the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to use the shimmer highlight in this. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of highlight right here on my nose. Not too much, just a bit. I'm going to take this NARS, it's the Laguna bronzer, and I'm going to go on with a bronzing brush and just kind of add a little more definition. This is just to give yourself some color actually because you already went in with that stick earlier. So still do it in the same areas, but you don't have to worry about being super precise on this part if you don't want to, at least for me, because I do this just to blend down eventually. You're gonna, I'm gonna blend it into that forehead, blend the cheeks a little, but it's just to give me more definition to my face and just a little more color. We're about to start blending more, but we're going to go on with this Milani Powder Blush. And this is actually called Coral Cove. It's very coral, as you can see. Um, they're cute. They're super cute, in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and add some of that to these cheeks. Because we need a little bit of blush in there. And so I've already done an eyebrow tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and put some brows on. You can check out my last video that I uploaded for the eyebrow tutorial because eyebrows are a total different beast in themselves. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm back. I got the brows done. I got the eyes looking cute. And this is my get ready with me today. I'm going to go ahead and set this face with some Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I really do love it. Um, they have three different types. They have a chill and they have an oil control de-slick one. So they're all good for different things, but I just have the All Nighter. So that's what I'm about to set my face with. So you could top this look off with a lip, mascara, liner, whatever you wanted. I don't really love mascara or eyeliner just because it's a bitch to get off. and. You know, and then I've been wearing my retainers lately, so lips are sticking to those, so it looks crazy. But yeah, I'm about to head to work, but thank you for watching. If you have and you made it this far, go ahead and add me or subscribe to me on YouTube. My Insta and Snap are both the Jordan Gibson, and I have my Facebook down there as well. So check me out, and I love you guys. Thank you for watching, um, you know, and let me know what you do. Let me know your routine down in the comments, and yeah, have a good day.